Hey, good afternoon. My name is Wade Hampton. I'm with Troop 537. And I teach Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts how to do knots. This is my daughter Scarlett, and we're going to redo three knots this afternoon. And so the first knot that we're going to do is the bowler. Uh, what you do is you take the end of the rope, um, you make a like a figure six with the rope, and then you take th this other end of the rope, which is called the standing end. And in this case, we're going to use some something that will help be helpful hopefully we'll say that the rabbit is going to go up to the hole around the tree which is the stem of the six and the back down into the hole and then you grab this you grab the two pieces of rope in the hole the stem of the six and you pull it tight and this is the bowling the life-saving knot Do it on this side. This one's already got a loop. So do it on this side. Mm -hmm. See how you turn this, and then you're going to push this side of the loop through like yeah. that. And then you'll have it on both sides. See that? That makes sense. Yeah, so you want it on both sides. So you've kind of got to change your thinking on doing that second loop. It's going to work. <laughs> it's really a burger down. Are you going to make a burger like you do? It's like, oh, sir, can you just hold still? <laughs> Yeah, tell the burger to hold still. I'm like, like, I've got a fake. I've got a fake. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah, and got much more is it on? So be ready, Julia. <laughs> okay. Now comes the fun part. You ready? Fun part. This is the worst part. Oh my god. That's gonna work. Try to escape. There we go. Did it pull tighter on your pinkies? Yeah. Oh, good. So we we did we did it right. Awesome. Try to see that. Wait, it worked. Oh. oh. I got it. I can't come out of All right, so the second of the knots that we're going to work on is called the clove hitch. The clove hitch is a very easy hitch. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of your rope and go over the pole that you want to hitch it to. Then take the end, go over the standing end of the rope at an angle like that. Then you're going to pull it around again. And this time when you bring it over one last time, you're going to go under your, your, your last loop in, be in between and you're going to pull it tight just like that and that is a clove hitch you can use it to tie off a project that you are working on
All right, so the last of the th three knots that we are working on is called the timberline hitch. The timberline hitch can be used for several things. It can be used as a starting hitch. It can also be used to do things like drag items or timbers through the woods. So let's go ahead and get to work on it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the end of the rope, go underneath the timber or the item that you are working on, make a loop, um, and then you are going to go under the standing end of the rope, which is this part. You're gonna go under, and then you're gonna go over the standing end through the loop. But before you pull it tight, you need to go two more times through the loop. One, two. So now we, we've gone three times through the loop, and now we're gonna pull it tight. And as you can see, it grabs all the way around. And um, this is how you start a hitch, or you can use the hitch to drag items through the woods.